Supercell Oi is a Finnish mobile game development company based in Helsinki. Founded in May 2010, the company's debut game was the browser game Gunshine.net, and after its release in 2011, Supercell started developing games for mobile devices. Since then, the company has fully released five mobile games, Hey Day, Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, Clash Royale, and Brawl Stars, which are freemium games and have been very successful for the company, the first two generating revenue of $2.4 million a day in 2013. Excel Partners and Index Ventures invested $12 million in the Series A of Supercell in 2011, Atomico led the Series B investment, and in October 2013 it was announced that the Japanese company Gungho Online Entertainment and its parent SoftBank had acquired 51% of the company for a reported $1.51 billion. On 1 June 2015, SoftBank acquired an additional 22.7% stake in Supercell, which brought their total stake to 73.2% of the company and made them the sole external shareholder. In 2016, Supercell reported annual revenues of around €2.11 billion. Euros. In three years, the company's revenues have grown a total of 800%, from 78.4 million 2012. .On 21 June 2016, Tencent acquired 84.3% of Supercell with US$8.6 billion. Japan's SoftBank values Supercell at US$10.2 billion. Company Supercell is part of the Japanese telecommunications company SoftBank, which owns 73.2% of the company. Ilka Pananen owns 6% and Miko Kodisoya 5.4% of the shares. Originally, SoftBank bought 51% of the company together with the game company Gungho for €1.1 billion Euros in 2013. In the sale, all Supercell's employees sold the same amount of their shares. One condition for the sale was that the main office would stay in Finland. SoftBank and Gungho founded the Kahan 3 Inc. in Finland. The company's articles of incorporation state that the company will remain Finnish. Kahan bought Supercell, and later Gungho sold its shares to SoftBank. In May 2015, SoftBank finally bought the rest of the investors out of the company and increased its shares to 73.2%. At that time the technology magazine VentureBeat estimated the value of Supercell to be €4.9 billion. Euros. In March 2016, SoftBank owned over 75% of Supercell's shares. On 21 June 2016 Tencent announced a deal to acquire 84.3% of Supercell with US$8.6 billion. Supercell's main office is located in the former facilities of the Nokia Research Center in Helsinki's Ruoholati district. The company has offices also in Tokyo, Beijing, San Francisco, and Seoul. Business model Supercell focuses on the development of free-to-play games that yield profits through the in-game micropayments. The company's objective is to focus on the successful games that stay popular for years. The focus has not been on revenue, but on the principle. Just design something great, something that users love. Game development focuses around cells of five to seven people, which start with idea generation and an initial review by CEO Pananen. The team subsequently develops the idea into a game, which the rest of the company's employees get to play test, followed by play testing in Canada's iTunes App Store. If the Canada reception is good, the next step is global rollout via iTunes. Supercell has discontinued a total of 14 game projects it did not deem promising enough, successful failures which are celebrated by employees. One of the games that was cancelled well into development was Battle Buddies, which had also been rated well in the test market, but the number of players was still too small. The final decision for cancelling a project is done by the development team themselves. Charity. The employees of Supercell donated €3.4 million Euros to the Finnish New Children's Hospital project. It is presumably the largest charity donation done by company employees in the history of Finland. Supercell has also given donations to the American charity organization WATSI. 
The company founders Miko Kodisoya and Ilka Pananen have founded the ME Foundation that supports different kinds of charity projects. In November 2015, the ME Foundation donated 2.5 million euros to the Helsinki Youth Department for the support of young immigrants. Supercell also organized a fundraising that collected old computers and tablets from game companies to donate to poor families with children through the Finnish Tukikummit Foundation, a registered non-profit organization. Supercell was also the biggest individual investor in the crowdfunding campaign for the Finnish Game Museum in 2015. History Background and founding Before founding Supercell, two of the founders Miko Kodisoya and Ilka Pananen worked at the mobile game company Sumeya. Kodisoya was one of the founders of Sumeya in 1999, and Pananen was hired as the company's CEO in 2000. In 2003, Sumeya gained €1.2 million Euros of profit. In the following year, the American Digital Chocolate bought Sumeya and made the company its Finnish headquarters and Pananen the European manager. With the new owner, the business activity increased, but at the same time the business culture took a more problematic direction according to Kodisoya, who was the creative director at the time. He left the company in 2010, and soon after Pananen did so as well. At first, Pananen worked at the financier company Lifeline Ventures, but soon wanted to become an entrepreneur himself. He planned to found a game company where executives would not disturb the work of the game developers. Together, Pananen, Kodisoya, Petri Steyrman, Lassie Lepinen, Visa Forsten, and Nico Derome who had known each other through work connections, founded Supercell in 2010. The company started its business in a cramped office in the Nidikampu district of Espoo. Kodisoya and Pananen invested €250,000 from their savings from their time at Sumeya in the company. In addition, the Finnish funding agency for technology innovation Teeks gave them a loan of €400,000. Lifeline Ventures also became an investor. In the following October, Supercell raised €750,000 through seed funding from for example London Venture Partners and Initial Capital. The first game Supercell started to develop was the massive multiplayer online game Gunshine that could be played on Facebook with a browser or on mobile platforms, and the game's prototype was ready in eight months. After Gunshine's completion, Excel Partners also invested €8 million Euros in the company in May 2011, and shareholder Kevin Camoli became a member of Supercell's board of directors. Excel has also invested in Rovio, among others. Change of strategies In November 2011, Supercell abandoned Gunshine for three reasons – it did not interest players for long enough, it was too difficult to play, and the mobile version did not work as well as the browser version. At best, the game had approximately half a million players. Supercell noticed the company could not catch up to the current leader of Facebook games, the Zynga company, and decided to focus on iPad games. Another Facebook game on development was left unfinished as well. The change of direction did not drive away the investors, but the pressure to succeed became worse, and Pananen had to make more detailed reports of progress for the investors. The company simultaneously developed five games, and the first one to be released for test market was Pets vs. Orcs. This game, as well as another concept, Tower, were abandoned. In May 2012, Heyday was published and eventually became Supercell's first internationally released game. Heyday was Supercell's version of Zynga's successful Facebook game Farmville, an easy-to-play farm simulator. Supercell added to their farming simulator the ability to refine products, a production chain, and touch screen properties. The social aspect of the game was emphasized as well. In four months, the game became one of the most profitable games in Apple's App Store in the US, and was one of the most profitable in the world for two and a half years. The game receives regular updates and is maintained by a team of 14 people. <laughs> <laughs> development of Clash of Clans Lassa Luento had started at Bloodhouse, and Lassie Lepinen was the chief programmer at Sumeya and Digital Chocolate. Their team had spent months on a fantasy-themed Facebook game when Supercell changed strategies. 
Lepinen and Luento wanted to make a strategy game that would use a touch screen so playing would be as simple and pleasant as possible. The development of Clash of Clans took six months, and the game was released on August 2, 2012. In three months, it became the most profitable app in the U.S. According to App Annie, in the years 2013 and 2014 Clash of Clans was the most profitable mobile game in the world. The eponymous battle between the clans was added to the game as late as in 2014. In summer 2013, Supercell started marketing collaboration with the Japanese Gungho. The companies cross marketed each other's games in their own games in their own markets. As a result, Clash of Clans became one of the most downloaded apps in Japan. Gungho's chairman of the board Taiza Sun flew to Finland to thank Paninen and later introduced him to his brother Masayoshi Sun, the CEO of the SoftBank Corporation. Soon, they proposed a corporate acquisition which indeed happened on October 7, 2013. SoftBank and Gungho bought 51% of Supercell's shares for €1.1 billion Euros which is the largest price for a Finnish private company in history. In six months, Supercell's value had tripled, since in spring 2013 the company had sold 16.7% of its shares for €100 million. Euros. Both Clash of Clans and Hey Day were released in the summer 2012, and Supercell did not release a new game in almost two years. The designing of the third game Boom Beach started in the autumn of 2012, and it was released in 2014. The new strategy game was released to the test market at the end of 2013, after which it went through large changes. The game was very successful in the US right after its release in March, but it did not stay at the top of the download charts for very long. However, it rose to the top 30 of the most downloaded iPhone apps after Supercell started an expensive marketing campaign in December 2014. In 2015, the game surpassed Hey Day in the charts. In March 2016, Supercell released its fourth supported game, Clash Royale, which uses similar characters from Clash of Clans. Between the releases of Boom Beach and Clash Royale, Supercell had discontinued nine game projects, two in their test release phase. One of them was Smash Land, which had been developed by four to five people for ten months. Games Marketing During Super Bowl XLIX in February 2015, Supercell spent $9 million for a 60-second runtime in front of 118.5 million viewers. According to The Guardian, the Clash of Clans advertisement was one of the most popular advertisements of the 61 spots aired on NBC. The commercial, dubbed, Revenge, featured Liam Neeson parodying his character from the Taken film series by seeking revenge in a coffee shop for a random player destroying his village. The commercial has reached a total of 165 million views on the game's official YouTube channel so far, and it was the most watched commercial on YouTube in 2015. Despite the success of the commercial, Supercell has seen only a marginal increase in downloads following the advertisement. Topic acknowledgements In 2012, Supercell was awarded as the best Nordic startup company and chosen as the Finnish Game Developer of the Year. The following year, Supercell won the Finnish Technology Akasvataja 2013 Technology Educator 2013 contest, and the company was chosen as the Software Entrepreneur of the Year. In 2014, the research and consultancy agency T Media chose Supercell as Finland's most reputable company in their Luotamus and Main Trust and Reputation report. Equals equals notes. <laughs>